Hello! Last time we tried to go here and it didn't go well. So this time around I would like to collect some resources, get a bigger core, research some more dangerous units to build. We'll need a lot of Orium for this. The place we're going to get all of our stuff right now is Starfields. There are not many Thorium sources here. We've got one over here at the top. Let's have a fly around and see where the others are. Nope, none. I checked. Do we have enough power? Oh, we have quite a bunch. It could be more. Let's enhance the power production. Are you all getting what you need? Now we've got a lot more power. The bottleneck I want to address are these guys. They are getting some cooling. Are they the best drills we have? Laser drills, they are the best drills we have. But are they positioned in a way that we are getting the most out of this? I don't think so. we could get better cooling. It's producing cryofluid and then... Okay, maybe the cryofluid is not doing anything. Then we have to go, go back to water. Okay, now we have 5.5. This should make it possible to research uh, a core nucleus. It stores massive amounts of resources. I like this. Next up, we will need some thorium as well. So nice that we upgraded this one. Let's see. Oh, we've got some more here. Okay. Are they working at capacity? It seems like. Can we research a better, better drill maybe? Salt flats and nuclear production complex. Okay. Soon. Now we need thorium. Look, we're wasting thorium there. Unacceptable. Fixing the wiring. Okay. Now we see we are putting more water in than goes out. Or does it? Slightly more. Okay. Not enough. It's full of water. This one is not full of water. Why are you not full of water? Now oh, this looks better. Oh, look at this. We have 3000 already. We should expand here. This is a trick. If you put them around your base, you have more capacity for resources. This is a mess. <laughs> and we're having lots of capacity. What would we need to build a better core? We need 8,000 8, of everything. Oh, wow. Let's create a, well, maybe one air factory or two. And we need to tell it to build these guys. Uh, Monos. They are flying around and they are collecting stuff for us. And we are getting closer to researching the next technology. We've got an additive reconstructor. Were we having this in the last game as well? Oh, we had it. We could have built better better units because I was thinking I didn't have any, so I was going to build this multiplicative reconstructor. Let's pump some resources into this. Now this self-destructs. Oh, interesting. I'll just read this. A dagger fires standard bullets at all nearby enemies. Mace fires streams of flame at all nearby enemies. Nova fires laser bolts that damage enemies and repair allied structures. Rosa fires arcs of electricity that damage enemies and repair allied structures. So I would like to have something which shoots over walls, to be honest. I think this would be most most helpful. Oh, we have the horizon. This would have helped so much against the enemy base. Drops clusters of bombs on ground targets. Oh, it needs lead. Okay, no problem. We got lead somewhere. Okay. That is provided. They should be building some monos and then the basic resource gathering will be faster. We are pretty close to the multiplicative. I'm really looking forward to seeing what these turn out to be. And finally, we can research it. There we go. So the next one is a mega. 
automatically repairs damaged structures capable of carrying small blocks and small ground units. And the Zenith fires salvos of missiles at nearby enemies. I like this. I want this. Let's try to build this. So what we need is we need a air factory, an additive reconstructor, and a multiplicative reconstructor, which is pretty expensive. Look at this. 650 thorium. So this will pre create this thing. Also need a bit of electricity here. Need silicone. And because I'm lazy, I'm just going to fetch it from the core. Now it can work. It's going to be right behind it. Hey, you! The last game I played, I forgot you could just go into these. Oh, I can, I can fly over stuff and throw bombs. Nice. Also need to research this. And while we're at it, let's research other stuff. Ooh, piercing lasers. We need to research all of these. The resource production must be optimized. Now we need a lot of metaglass, silicone, and titanium. Oof, okay. Should have built it close to the core. Now we're cooking. This looks good. Okay, nice long range. Yeah, if I had this, I could have probably defeated the, the opponent. One thing I would like to try is to build the command center and to see how it works. Oh, we can ready. This would have been so useful. So very useful. We could just start a huge attack instead of letting the ships fly in one by one. Okay, apart from this map not having a proper silicon production system, which I should fix, I think I'm ready to go back to the attack map and to get our sweet, sweet extraction thingy over here. Is there something else to research? Omega. Ooh. Well, the Quasar is, is pretty, pretty cool as well. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll build it. This all looks good. We need to research it, but I think to research it, we need a lot more silicon production. Wherever this is coming from right now, it's not enough. <laughs> Top-notch engineering over here. They're working so hard, but we need more of these. Why is it not getting enough? It's it's not getting enough coal. Now oh, that looks better. I think we can even give it its own lane here. Now oh, this looks better. And of course, an unloader. I always forget the unloaders comes in way faster than it's unloading, but I think this is because there was there was some build up here. It will even out eventually. This looks better. Not by a lot, but slightly better. Ooh, this is not what I wanted at all. Junction, junction. Sorry. Wherever there's no movement, it means there's a silicone waiting for us. Okay, unclogged. Given that we have got enough here, maybe we could, maybe we could have a second conveyor belt here just for the silicone, because it's quite an important resource. Now we've got one more conveyor belt for our precious silicone. Unload us, of course. Now I'm not sure if this is a good pattern or not, using so many containers. Feels kind of logical to me. Where are the titanium bits coming from? Ah, uh, because it's a, it's a router. Okay, of course. Now we should be getting more silicone here. And we can research more stuff. For example, I'm curious to find out what's behind this door. Fire sapping laser beams at enemies repairing itself. We need way more silicon for this. Okay, so far so good. I feel confident that when once we have enough resources, we will be able to go to the next map and to be quite successful doing so. Next up, return to the extraction outpost. See you next time. Bye bye.